acknowledge the achievements of our athletes, to recognize the contributions that our very important sponsors make, which makes it possible for us all to be here at Lindsay's tonight, amongst other things. Uh, to recognize and thank our coaches and the other volunteers who make this all happen. So please, let's all give yourself a hand and get this going right now. Outstanding. This is, uh, this is a very challenging time uh, in our country right now and certainly for the families I know of our organization. We're all uh, you know, feeling the, the stress of the times. And I think it's during times like this that our organization and the programs that we offer and the value that we offer the families uh, is measured and much more important than ever. And we're very proud to continue to make that contribution. Uh, please know that not only have we not cut back on any of our programs, that with the help of uh, some, some new additions and uh, new coaches and volunteers, as well as uh, some people who have been on the scene for years, we are now offering some additional programs, which you may have heard about. Uh, last year we kicked off a ski program, which was outstanding. And uh, to see uh, people get out of wheelchairs and um, and get on get on a slope uh, was inspirational to me. Um, continuing, we have a, a nice therapeutic horseback program, and we we have 23 people who have signed up for that. So that's exciting, and it's a financial commitment which gets us back to the uh, the help that our sponsors uh, make and the contribution that they make. We're kicking off a, uh, this is the winter program, we're kicking off a skating program. We have four people now that have signed up, and that's good. And I would, my target number is five. Can we get five, please? Uh, we have coaches who are ready to teach your children how to skate. Um, ice time, that's free, and we'll put skates on them. So I'm just doing a little promotion. That's kind of my pet project right now. But nonetheless, uh, what we're focused on now is providing quality experience and it doesn't have to be quantity. 23 horseback riders is good, but so are five or six skaters or five or six skiers. So uh, as I said, thanks to uh, all our volunteers. We're going to recognize our athletes tonight. Um, I would just like to uh, thank particularly our board of directors, Denise Mercier, Jimmy Ryan, Gary Gordon, Angela Busby, Dan Newell, Nancy Flynn, Nancy Gray, Frank Heslin, and last but not least, Bob Majo. Thank you guys. And uh, distinguishing themselves. Uh, our organization was recognized this year, uh, first by the Paul Center. Uh, when they awarded us a partnership award. Nice to be recognized. That's the currency that we deal in. Pats on the back are very nice. That's all we ask for. Uh, secondly, UMass Lowell most recently awarded us the Lou Family Community Contribution Award. And uh, those awards are over on the table. Check them out. We have a couple of special athletes who we're going to recognize and we'll talk a little bit more about Christina and Ryan. But uh, right now, if I could, I'd just like to mention our sponsors. Kathy and Charlie Flick at MV Hogs, uh, Merrimack Valley Harley Owner Group. They, uh, in the third year in a row now, have uh, raised a significant portion of money. This year, $4,400 for us in a poker run. And, uh, yeah. Eric Allen. Uh, you have the little athletic department, and uh, we have tickets coming up, which we'll tell you more. You can sign up for them for basketball and for hockey. Um, uh, Sarkis Sarkeesian, I'm, I'm the golf coach, what, what I really enjoy doing the most, and uh, his driving range and contributions that he makes every year. Uh, Jerry Sarah, Home Depot, uh, they organize the team for uh, a basketball game with our old uh, basketball group, so we appreciate that. Keith Ortolani, uh, Lowell Fire Department, we have a nice basketball game with them. Um, you know, 
They persevere. Every year they come in, we give them a weapon, but they still keep coming back. And the kids really enjoy it. And I think the whole fight department enjoys it as well. So thank you. And uh, uh, Keith is here uh, with his uh, his friend Jill Davis and Great Alol Tech. Uh, we have a very nice swim program. Thank you guys for, for that. We appreciate that. Uh, outstanding facility, Great Alol Tech. A very nice swim. Frankie Eslin really helped a lot in getting that up and running. Um, Mary Beth Watchkin and uh, Dairy Farm, Edie's Ice Cream. If you notice, we have uh, some nice treats at some of our functions, and we need to thank Mary Beth for that. So thank you. Paul Kirkland, our safety officer. And Paul will, uh, at, after we eat, we're going to eat right after, uh, just in a couple of minutes here. Uh, you kids are welcome to go up and grab some more toys. And uh, remember, you do have to buckle up. That's all part of the agreement. And Rich Palmer, thank you, Rich, for bringing those toys along. We appreciate it. Thank you, Rich. Uh, Jack, Jacqueline Ayod uh, is here in memory of her husband, Harry Ayod. Harry, uh, a loving husband, father, businessman, and a dear supporter uh, of kids and disability sports. Uh, a very caring man, his priority was to contribute to society in all aspects of life. Uh, I'm sure many of you know Mr. Ayod. Before his passing, someone asked him how he would like to be remembered. He said, when you do special things for yourself, when you die, those things die with you. When you do special things for others, the things you do live on. And that's, that's very, very poignant. And i uh, just like to thank Mrs. Ayod for coming. Mr. Walter McGrail, our ski guru, uh, assisted with obtaining ski program, was instrumental in getting our ski program up and running. He's a friend of mine from Longmeadow, came up and discussed it with me last year and with Mr. Heslin, another uh, skier. Uh, we, we were very proud of that program, so thank you, Walter. And his lovely wife. I don't want to, I'm sure I've omitted somebody, and uh, I just want everyone to relax, to enjoy themselves tonight, and to give the athletes their due recognition. Her graphic design of the Assumption Greek Orthodox Church in Drakeit was selected for the Greater Lowell Technical High School calendar last year. Her grizzly bear drawing, again, was selected for a Franklin Park Zoo advertisement. She maintained high honors in her junior year, receiving outstanding achievement awards in U.S. History three English, Applications of Science, Algebra, and Ancillary Services. She has been one of the greater Lowell Technical High School swim team, or has been on the swim team for the past three years, and now travels with her team to different schools to compete. Christina volunteers in community service projects through school volunteering at Old Home Day in Drake at this past September, and on November 10th will be signing up to volunteer at the local Humane Society on weekends. Christina just got her driver's license as well. And I know that's a big one. Christina will be attending Middlesex Community College for graphic design after graduating from GLTHS in 2012. And after that, she would like to continue her education at the New England Institute of Art in Boston. And there's no doubt with the presentations over there that the young lady is very qualified. Her mother states that Tina works very hard at everything she does in her everyday life always putting others before herself. Because of the kids program, Tina has bonded with a great group of friends, and they are very much a part of her life. Please put your hands together. We have another young athlete who we'd like to recognize with a special award. 
And he's the son of a friend of mine, Nancy Flynn, and a board member, Ryan Flynn, her son. And the father was Rick and Kenjo Karate Dojo. And George writes about Ryan. It was in February of 2004 that I first met Ryan Flynn. He was 11 years old. His parents brought him to the dojo, as most parents of my young students do, so that he could learn something about the focus, self-discipline, and self-defense of karate. What most parents don't ask for directly, but what often lies behind the request, is that their children learn something about themselves. Ryan has always given fully of himself when he is training at the dojo and has proven to be a very good student. He has faced the many challenges that are placed before him, learning and memorizing a series of defensive movements, pushing past the pain of physical training and facing the doubt of one's ability to rise above limitations that are inherent or placed upon us by others. These things Ryan has done and done well as he earned the rank of Thank you, third degree brown belt in April of this year. He continues to strive to more as he works towards the level of Shodan black belt. My hope for Ryan, George continues, is that he can take what he has learned about himself, his ability to learn and memorize, to push through tough times, and to rise above his challenges and use that to build the best life that he can. It is said that luck favors the well-prepared. My wish for Ryan is to have the best of luck, work hard, and be well-prepared. Ryan, as I said, is the son of Nancy and David Flynn, is 19 years old, has attended the Lighthouse School in Chelmsford for the past 11 years, and has been a member of kids for the past five years. Ryan, would you please come up and be right